Best 10 Prime Video Original Series You Must Watch, So Far These are the best Prime Video Original Series. For almost years, Amazon has been busy releasing new TV shows, which they call Prime Video Original Series. With some being better than others, I will recommend you some best Prime Video Original Series that you can watch right now. The order that I made is a following rating on IMDb and what we find interesting. So, enjoy the video. What happened? They're all gone. Everybody's gone. Number 10. The Wheel of Time. The Wheel of Time is an American epic fantasy streaming television series developed by Rafe Judkins for Amazon Prime Video. The series is based on the novel series of the same name by Robert Jordan with Brandon Sanderson. The first season, consisting of eight episodes, premiered on Prime Video on November 19, 2021, with the first three episodes released immediately and the remaining five on a weekly basis after that, culminating in the season finale on December 24, 2021. The series was renewed for a second season in May 2021, before the series premiered. In July 2022, ahead of the second season premiere, the series was renewed for a third season. On IMDb, this series gets a rating of 7.1. Number 9, Hannah. Hannah is an American action drama streaming television series, based on the 2011 film of the same name, for Amazon Prime Video. The series was created and written by David Farr and stars Esm Creed Miles and Mira Enos. The first episode was made available on Amazon Prime Video as a time-limited preview on February 3, 2019. The full eight-episode first season was released on March 29, 2019, and the second season was released on July 3, 2020. In July 2020, the series was renewed for a third and final season. It premiered on November 24, 2021. This series gets 7.6 rating on IMDb. Number 8. Upload. Upload is an American science fiction comedy drama television series created by Greg Daniels. The series premiered on May 1, 2020, on Amazon Prime Video and was renewed for a second season. The second season premiered on March 11, 2022, it had seven episodes, three fewer than the first. In May 2022, the series was renewed for a third season. On IMDb, this series gets score 7.9. I saw that video, you dabbed on the way down. That's how you get the lights. Number 7. Good Omens. Good Omens is a fantasy comedy series created and written by Neil Gaiman, based on his and Terry Pratchett's 1990 novel of the same name. A six-episode co-production between Amazon Studios and BBC Studios, the series was directed by Douglas McKinnon, with Gaiman also serving as showrunner. Michael Sheen and David Tennant lead a large ensemble cast that also includes Audrey Arjona, Miranda Richardson, Michael McKean, Jack Whitehall, Nick Offerman, Brian Cox, Mira Enos, John Hamm, and Francis McDormand as the voice of God, who narrates the series. Like the novel, Good Omens features various Christian themes and figures, and follows various characters all trying to either encourage or prevent the coming of an imminent Armageddon seen through the eyes of the angel Azuraphal and the demon Crowley. All episodes of the first season were released on Amazon Prime Video on May 31, 2019, 
and aired weekly on BBC Two in the UK between January 15 and February 19, 2020. Although the show's first season was conceived and marketed as a limited series, it was renewed for a second series in June 2021. Sheen and Tennant are returning, alongside most of the crew. Good Omens get 8.0 rating on IMDb. To the world. To the world. Number 6. The Terminal List. The Terminal List is an American action thriller television series based on Jack Carr's 2018 novel of the same name. One the series tells the story of a Navy SEAL who seeks to avenge the murder of his family. It stars Chris Pratt, who also serves as an executive producer, Constance Wu, Taylor Kitsch, Riley Kia, Arlo Mertz, and Gene Triplehorn. The Terminal List was released on Amazon Prime Video on July 1, 2022, to mixed reviews from critics. The series follows Lt. Commander James Reese, Chris Pratt, after his platoon of Navy SEALs are ambushed while on a covert mission. Reese returns home to his family with conflicting memories of the event and questions about his culpability. As new evidence comes to light, Reese discovers dark forces working against him, endangering not only his life but the lives of those he loves. The terminal list gets score 8.0 on IMDb. Number 5. 000. 000 000 is an Italian crime drama television series created by Stefano Salima, Leonardo Fazali, and Mauricio Katz for Sky Atlantic, Canal Plus and Amazon Prime Video. It is based on the book of the same name by Roberto Saviano, a study of the business around the drug cocaine, covering its movement across continents. The series stars Andrea Riseborough, Dane DeHaan, and Gabriel Byrne as the American Linwood family, controlling an international shipping company which acts as cocaine broker between Mexican and Italian organized crime. The series derives its name from the purest type of flower, 000, which is the nickname among narco-traffickers for the purest cocaine on the market. The world premiere of 000 was on September 5, 2019 at the 76th Venice International Film Festival, where the first two episodes were screened out of competition. The series premiered on television on February 14, 2020 on Sky Atlantic in Italy. The series received generally favorable reviews. On IMDb, this series gets a rating of 8.2. Number 4. The Expanse. The Expanse is an American science fiction television series developed by Mark Fergus and Hawk Ostby, based on the series of novels of the same name by James S. A. Corey. The series is set in a future where humanity has colonized the solar system. It follows a disparate band of protagonists United Nations Security Council member Christian of Sarla, Shara Akdashlu, police detective Josephus Miller, Thomas Jane, ship's officer James Holden, Stephen Strait, and his crew as they unwittingly unravel and place themselves at the center of a conspiracy that threatens the system's fragile state of Cold War, while dealing with existential crises brought forth by newly discovered alien technology. The Expanse has received critical acclaim, with particular praise for its visuals, character development, and political narrative. It received a Hugo Award for Best Dramatic Presentation and three Saturn Award nominations for Best Science Fiction Television Series. Ahead of the fifth season's release, Amazon renewed the series for a sixth and final season in November 2020, which premiered on December 10, 2021. The Expanse gets score 8.5 on IMDb. You're running out of time, kid. Number 3. Bosch. Bosch, as Bosch, Legacy in the Freebie Seasons, 
is an American police procedural streaming television series produced by Amazon Studios and Fabric Entertainment starring Titus Welliver as Los Angeles Police Department Detective Harry Bosch. The show was developed for Amazon by Eric Overmeyer, and the first season takes its inspiration from the Michael Connelly novel City of Bones, 2002, Echo Park, 2006, and The Concrete Blonde, 1994. It was one of two drama pilots that Amazon streamed online in early 2014, together with The After, and viewers offered their opinions on it before the studio decided whether to place a series order. The seventh and final season was released on June 25, 2021. Amazon announced another season, produced for IMDb TV as part of rebrand to Amazon Freebie, to be retitled as Bosch, Legacy, in January 2022, and it premiered on May 6, 2022, and was renewed for a ninth season prior to the season premiere. It's advertised as a spin-off, but it's just a continuation of the series. The freebie seasons are continuing the original storyline of the series. On IMDb, this series gets a rating of 8.5. This is just the beginning. Number 2. Fleabag. Fleabag is a British comedy drama television series created and written by Phoebe Waller Bridge, based on her one woman show first performed in 2013 at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. It was originally produced by Two Brothers Pictures for digital channel BBC3 in a co production agreement with Amazon Studios. Waller Bridge stars as the title character, a free spirited but angry and confused young woman in London. Sheon Clifford stars as Fleabag's sister Claire, while Andrew Scott joined the cast in the second series as Hot Priest. The protagonist frequently breaks the fourth wall to provide exposition, internal monologues, and a running commentary to the audience. The show premiered on July 21, 2016 and concluded its second and final series on April 8, 2019. The second series received 11 Primetime Emmy Award nominations and won six, with Waller Bridge earning Outstanding Comedy Series, Outstanding Lead Actress, and Outstanding Writing for a Comedy Series. Additional acting nominations were received by Clifford, Olivia Coleman, and guest stars Fiona Shaw and Kristen Scott Thomas. The series received the Golden Globe Award for Best Television Series and Best Actress for Waller Bridge, and a nomination for Scott. Fleabag gets a score 8.7 on IMDb. Thanks, I'm trying to quit. She always does something slightly different around her period. She gets really bad PMT. Mum used to call it her monthly comp. Number 1. The Boys. The Boys is an American superhero television series developed by Eric Kripke for Amazon Prime Video. Based on the comic book of the same name by Garth Ennis and Derek Robertson, it follows the eponymous team of vigilantes as they combat super-powered individuals who abuse their abilities. The series features an ensemble cast that includes Carl Urban, Jack Quaid, Anthony Starr, Aaron Moriarty, Dominique McElligot, Jesse T. Usher, Chase Crawford, Liz Alonzo, Tomer Capone, Karen Fukuhara, and Nathan Mitchell. Originally intended to be a feature-length film, the comic book series adaptation began its development in 2008 with Adam McKay set to direct the film. The project was abandoned due to creative differences between the crew and the studios that picked up the film, leading the project to languish in development hell. The development for the project was revived in 2016 by Cinemax, which announced that it would be reworked as a television series. Kripka was recruited to be the showrunner of the series, while Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg would be the executive producers. Amazon Prime Video obtained the rights for the show in November 2017, with production expected to start in the spring of 2018. Filming for the show took place in Toronto. The Boys premiered its first season of eight episodes on July 26, 2019. A second season premiered on September 4, 2020, with the third season following on June 3, 2022. In June 2022, the series was renewed for a fourth season. 
As part of a shared universe, a spin-off web series, 7 on 7, premiered in July 2021, an animated anthology series, Diabolical, premiered in March 2022, and a second live-action television series, Gen V, was ordered in September 2020. The series has received positive reviews and praise for its writing, storyline, humor, and performances of the cast. The series was nominated for six Emmy Awards, including Outstanding Drama Series in 2021. The boys get score 8.7 on IMDb. Pardon my French. Fuck those fuckers. And for honorable mention we have The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power is an American fantasy television series based on the novel The Lord of the Rings and its appendices by J.R.R. Tolkien. Developed by showrunners J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay for the streaming service Prime Video, the series is set in the Second Age of Middle-earth, thousands of years before Tolkien's The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. It is produced by Amazon Studios in cooperation with HarperCollins and New Line Cinema, and in consultation with the Tolkien Estate. Set thousands of years before the events of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, the series is based on author J.R.R. Tolkien's History of Middle-earth. It begins during a time of relative peace and covers all the major events of Middle-earth's Second Age, the forging of the Rings of Power, the rise of the Dark Lord Sauron, the fall of the island kingdom of Numenor, and the last alliance between elves and men. These events take place over thousands of years in Tolkien's original stories but are condensed for the series. So, those are some of the Prime Video original series that you must watch so far, if there are additions or corrections, please add them in the comments column below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next videos.